Hi, today we're at Sandy Point on Plum Island in Massachusetts. And not long ago we videotaped from the north end of the beach. And today we're at the pretty far south, the farthest reach of the, of the beach on the south end at Sandy Point. And um, as soon as we got out here, there's just tons of shells everywhere. Lots of broken um, surf clams, which you can see all around me when we get a chance. But let me just show you what we found within just a few feet of the beach. If you look down here, there's a crab carapace, the shell of a crab. I got a nice little fish bone, and we just found a nice little light, well, it's not live anymore, but a whole little fish there. Lots of beautiful blue mussels. Can you see those? Beautiful mussels. There's always a little bit of uh, trash, or I like to think that there's a few toys on the beach to be found. I found this beautiful feather. I'm really curious to find out what that feather is from. If you know, write to me, otherwise I'm going to have to do a little research. Uh, here's another beautiful blue mussel. Again, the mussels are bivalve, so you've got two sides. Same thing with the jackknife clam. That's a bivalve also. This is also called a common razor clam. Tons of pieces of uh, sand dollars, so I bet you if we were here earlier that we were maybe you found a whole one. Over here you can see these beautiful little ribbed pods. Those are called ribbed pods. Those are also called Atlantic razor clam. So these two share a name in common. One's the common razor, one's the Atlantic. This is also called the jackknife. That helps me to sort of separate the two of them. I also found what's called a mermaid's purse. That's, all, that's the egg case, or the, actually the case for a um, skate. One skate, baby, in each one of these little mermaid purses that you find. Here's just a piece of a surf clam. There's a hard shell clam. Okay, tons of these on the beach. If you come back here, you can see I've also found a lot of northern moon snails, bits and pieces of them, little ones. They're really beautiful. Look at the difference in color in some of them. Um, here's actually a partial piece of a waved whelk. A waved whelk, that was a nice find. And here's a couple different dog whelks or dog winkles piece of an oyster, and if you come back here, we got little surf clams, hard shell clams, look at this big soft shell clam, that's a really big shell, that's a nice specimen, a little surf clam, and here's another little, and then the large surf clam, and back here again, just in the sand, more little surf clams, you can see both sides, and you see that hole, that nice beveled hole, well, that's the work of the northern moon snail. He, he tunnels right through that with his little radula, with his foot, with his radula, and he goes in there and he eats that clam. He's not the only one that likes clams. So anyways, lots of shells on Sandy Point, Plum Island, just about anywhere you walk, you're going to find a ton. So get a nice look at the beach as I say goodbye. It's a beautiful beach, beautiful November day. One thing if you want me to tell it. I've got to show you one thing. See this northern moon snail? The snail is still in it. Do you see that? That door is called the operculum. That little door, and I'm going to go place him back in the water right now. Northern moon snail, snail still in. You can see his trap door. Bye for now.